So today has been such a great day for growth stock investors. And on today's episode, we are going to take a look at SoFi, New York Stock Exchange, IPOE. And I'm going to take a look at three reasons why investors should be bullish in this company. So like always, we're going to take a look at fundamentals, future growth, and I'm going to share my overall thoughts on the companies and how I would play it. So let's get started. All right. So like I mentioned today, we are going to take a look at SoFi right now. It's traded under the New York Stock Exchange as ticker IPOE. The stock right now is up 5.7% on the day, sitting at $19.86 while I am recording this episode. From its one month, we can see that one month the stock has returned already 19.06% to investors. So congratulations. Better for those that picked up in the bottom a few days ago. You guys are up already 36%. But if we take a look from this 52 week high, the stock is still down about 23%. So it still has seen a crazy pullback from its high. All right, so the first reason SoFi investors should be bullish is just the overall growth this company is seeing. SoFi just recently reported their quarter one of 2021 summary and the growth they're seeing in all their products and members are insane. Let's take a quick look at members. It's up 110% compared to the same time last year. It's had seven consecutive quarters of accelerating year over year growth. And look, the growth is not only year over year, it's also sequential quarter over quarter. They're also seeing growth in the type of products that they offer 121 percent year-over-year growth on total products and 273 percent year-over-year growth on financial services pro- products again not only year-over-year growth but sequential growth so total adjusted net revenue for this quarter was 151 percent compared to the same times last year and look at that growth if we're taking a look at the last trailing 12 months for this company compared to the full year of 2020 or the full year of 2019 or 18 it's just continual acceleration so that's the first reason investors should be really bullish on SoFi right now the second reason i want to say is the overall improvements of their financial metrics but before we get into that guys make sure to hit the thumbs up if i'm providing some value make sure to hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comments below are you a SoFi bull at the moment so now if we take a look at adjusted EBITDA Compared to the same time last year, this company is now profitable looking at those metrics where last year they were losing about $66 million. Now they're profitable about $4 million in adjustable EBITDA. Now, if we take a look in the long term of things, in the last trailing 12 months, annual adjusted EBITDA is actually profitable. If we take a look at 2020, 2019, and 2018, all those years were negative in that metric. And we can see their financial improvements is even better than what the company expected. So for quarter one of 2021 the company expected adjusted beta margins to be somewhere around negative three on the low side to one percent on the high side they actually ended up with two percent so beating even the high end of their metrics the third reason investors should be bullish in sofi right now is just the future growth of this company but before we get into that let's take a quick listen to today's sponsor i want to thank the motley fool for sponsoring this video Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You guys know I love finding new investing tools and resources to help me scout out new growth stocks. And right now I have a discount for one of my favorite services The Fool offers. Through the Motley Fool Stock Advisor services, you get access to a ton of expert stock picks. Every month you'll get two new picks that are aimed at growing your wealth and to help you realize your financial goals. Stock Advisor's average stock picks have done amazing returns if growing your money is something you'd like to do more of this year, you can visit fool.com slash Jose Naharo or click on the link below for access to my special offer and decide if the stock advisor is right for you. Thanks again to The Motley Fool and now on to today's video. So the third reason, like I mentioned, is the future growth. This company for the full year of 2021 is guiding a 58% year over year growth. They expect this to be the first year that they end up being adjustable a beta margin for the full year. So we're seeing a company with huge growth rates but we're also seeing a company that's improving its margins for the future we can see sofi is still very aggressive with the overall innovation and making sure that they're growing the overall footprint that they're hitting the most recent case of this was on april 7th of 2020 when sofi acquired galileo financial technology in in a mixture of cash and stock deal and galileo is a powerful financial service api and payments platform 
Looking ahead into the future of SoFi, they are going to have a shareholder meeting on 527 in the coming few days, and they intend to close the deal between the SoFi and IPO merger by 528 and start trading as ticker SOFI. So it seems like there is a strong future for SoFi right now. So if I was to play SoFi, how would I do it? We saw this company is up big right now after a recent downturn in growth stocks. And maybe, maybe let's say I wasn't too focused in this company. Maybe I might have missed out the boat. How would I play it? First thing is do a little bit more due diligence on the company. See what I like, see what I don't like. And if I determine that I do like it at these levels, I wouldn't mind entering with a small position just because there could always be the risk of it pulling down. But over time, continue to dollar cost average and add up over time and build up whatever I want my position to be. At the same time, I do believe getting some skin in the game is always good on companies that I enjoy. So take care, have a good day and see you next time.